Hello everyone, welcome to day 27th of August Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Longest Uncommon Subsequence Second In this question, we are given an array of strings and we need to tell that particular string which happens to be the longest uncommon subsequence of all the other strings that are there in the input array We need to return its length as an answer If there is no such string, we need to return minus 1 So, without much ado, let's uh, try and look at the presentation that I have created for this. I'll be explaining the question as well as the solution in the presentation itself. So moving on to the PPT. Longest uncommon subsequence to lead code 522. And let's try and understand the question by a slightly different example. Uh, I have changed it so that you get a better understanding of the question. The first thing that we have is ABA, CD, EA, MA, BA and the fourth one is FFTY. Uh, what do uh, we are interested in finding out we are interested in finding out that particular string out of all these four strings which is uncommon to all the other strings so uh, let's just walk through one of the possible case and you will understand it so the first string that we have is aba uh, is aba a subsequence of cd no it's not so that means we found out that they don't have any relationship between between them uh, that means it's a happy case. We are good to move ahead. Next we have is ABA versus EA, MA, BA. So you can see that ABA is occurring in this string. That means it's a common subsequence of ABA. This string has ABA as a possible subsequence. That means you can't move ahead with ABA because it, it is part of this larger string therefore this is an abortion case uh, le let's go with the next iteration next we have is CD so we'll compare CD with ABA uh, there is no relation between CD and ABA uh, that means we are good to uh, move ahead with the next iteration next we have is EAMABA there is again no relationship between CD and this particular string. CD is not a subsequence of EAMABA. That means it's a happy case. Let's move ahead. And next we have a CD and FFTY. There's no relationship between these two. Therefore, we found out one particular string which is the longest uncommon subsequence of all the other subs, all the other strings. Uh, so CD becomes our string and the length becomes two. Let's continue the process. Next we have is E A M A B A and what we are going to do, we'll compare it with the first string that we have A B A. So you can surely say that E A M A B A is not a common subsequence of A B A because length is a smaller of A B A that of E A M A B A. Therefore, it's a happy case. We will move ahead with the iteration. Next we have C D. C D is also not a E A M A B A is also not a subsequence of C D. Again, a happy case. Next we have is F F T Y. It's not a subsequence of F F T Y. This particular string. That means you found out another string, uh, which is not a subsequence of all the other strings. What is the length of the string? One, two, three, four, five, six. And the previous length that we calculated was two. Therefore, this string is this length is greater. The answer becomes six. The length becomes six. Let's move ahead. Next we have is FFTY, we'll compare FFTY with ABA, uh, FFTY is not a subsequence of ABA, happy case, we'll move ahead, CD and FFTY, it's not a, a, a subsequence of CD, happy case, and again we have AB, e, uh, EAMABA, uh, FFTY is not a subsequence of EAMABA, again a happy case, the length of the string is 4, however, in the previous step we calculated the length to be 6 4 is lower than 6 we'll ignore it and the problem reduces to identifying whether a string is a subsequence of another string or not because if we know this information uh, then we can easily calculate the maximum length out of all the possibilities so let's talk about how can we identify whether a particular string is a subsequence of another string or not 
लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली दिस इज द क्रक्स ऑफ द कंप्लीट प्रॉब्लम टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस वील टेक टू पॉइंटर्स वन फॉर आइट्रेटिंग ओवर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग एंड अनदर वन फॉर आइट्रेटिंग ओवर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग सो लेट्स कॉल दिस एज आई लेट्स कॉल दिस एज जे द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर दैट वी सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग इज ए सो वी विल मूव द जे एथ पॉइंटर टिल द टाइम वी डोंट विटनेस एन ए सो यू विटनेस एन ए एट दिस पोजिशन एंड वॉट यू गन डू एज यू सी दैट इट्स अ मैचिंग केस यू विल इंक्रीमेंट द आई एथ पॉइंटर आई बिकम्स बी आई पॉइंट्स टू बी एंड जे राइट नाउ इज पॉइंटिंग टू ए now which character are we searching for we are searching for b so we'll increment the j pointer till the time the character in this particular string doesn't become equal to b so it will move ahead move ahead move ahead and j becomes b and next we have uh, since it's a matching case so we will increment the i s pointer next we have is e and you will search the input string till the time it doesn't exhaust or you don't find any so uh, the next character that we have is a and the string is exhausted so it's not this particular string a b e is not a sub sequence of e a m a b a let's talk about another case had it been a b a then you would have got the first string at this particular first character this particular index second character at this particular index third character at this particular index there can be more characters in this particular string however how will we make sure that we have found a sub sequence the iterator will become equal to the length of the input string because there are no more characters in the iterator since you found out an a uh, the iterator value will be incremented to the length of the input string which is 3 in this case as soon as that condition is met you abort the process uh, because there are no more characters to search for and you found out that this particular string is a sub sequence of this particular string we'll use this information uh, to build our algorithm and let's just walk through that solution let's walk through the code i have initialized the max length variable as minus 1 and i have taken two loops here one for the ith index other one for the jth index and uh, i'll compare every ith string with all other strings in the uh, jth loop Uh, i need to check if my current jth index is not equal to the ith index because in that case both the strings are same i go and check if my current string at ith index happens to be a sub sequence of the jth index if that is the case i update my flag variable to true that means it was a sub sequence and in case uh, the flag remains as false that means it was not a sub sequence I, uh, that that indicates that i have iterated over all the other strings uh, uh, in the loop and the current string at the ith index is a valid possibility for my answer i update my max length variable with the length of the uh, string at the ith index which is which is stored here and let's talk about uh, the is subsequence uh, helper method Uh, in case my a string happens to be equal to b i abort the process and return true because both the strings are equal otherwise i have taken two pointers i and j uh, i iterate over the input array uh, input string a and b till the time i is not is less than a dot length and j is less than b dot length if my character at the ith index happens to be equal to the character at the jth index i increment the ith character otherwise i am simply iterating over the j incrementing the jth character so it is as good as this j++ in the end i check if my i happens to be equal to a dot length that means the complete ith string is iterated and uh, this string uh, a is a valid sub sequence of b let's try this up accepted i hope you enjoyed today's session if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded see you tomorrow with another fresh question till then goodbye